you guys so i started spray painting last night um the car is not really taking the spray paint as well as i thought it would so i'm gonna have to work some magic to see how i'm gonna fix all the stuff that is leaving out but the phone is covered up pretty good i'm still working on one can so i mean i'm just like triple coating double coating i had let this dry on that side i shouldn't have did that um i should have let it dry on the other side so it could be an even coat but that was my fault y'all hey y'all and welcome back to my channel so as you saw i already spray painted my props for my photo shoot i'm about to just lay down this plastic bag because we're about to get to decorating i didn't really even need the plastic bag but you know i still just want to protect the table so there's my phone and then i also have my car but you guys i'm not going to be putting anything on my car because i didn't really have time to either respray paint it or all the work that I was going to have to do because the spray paint did not, it did not um, stay on the car very well. But now I'm going to be showing you everything you will need for this DIY project. If you have not checked out my vlog of when I got my props for my photo shoot and all of the decor that I'm about to decorate my props with, go ahead and check out that video. It's already on my channel. I will also link the video in the description box below as well as the items that I'll be decorating my phone with. This is some adhesive gem strips that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. Um, I figured I needed something that was going to be a little less time consuming being that my photo shoot was in like the next couple days. So I needed something that was going to act really quick but I also bought the bigger gems because I'm using those for my telephone. So my mom separate them for me while I was at work because I wasn't gonna have time to and it's just a better way to know the size of gems that you want to work with now y'all I really didn't know what I want to do as far as decorating my telephone but I created I started to create a flower in the middle of you know the speaking part of the telephone and then I used some of the big ones on the outside and then I think a middle size gem on the inside To make the application easier, I did have tweezers so I can pick up the gems and glue them onto the phone. And also in this video, you'll see me switch from this glue and then my other glue that I have just because I didn't know which one was going to work better and I just tried them both out. So now we're moving on to the other part of the phone. I'm still going to be using the medium gem size pieces and I'm going to be gluing those on all of the numbers. Okay, so now we're moving back on to the other part of the phone and we're going to add some more gems. This is where the strips, the adhesive gems are going to come in handy because I'll be placing those all on the back. I didn't really know what design I was going for and I didn't know how much use I was going to get out of the one sleeve of adhesive gems. So at first I started doing some minimal things and then I was like, oh, I still have a lot left. So then I just kept adding and adding more strips until I was satisfied with the look.
and another reason why I like these adhesive gems is because it's so easy to take it back up if you don't have it lined up correctly so I really did like that because if you mess up you can just easily lift it up and then place it back down So I did have my scissors on standby just to cut out the excess gems that are not needed on the phone. Luckily you guys, these adhesive strips were long enough to where I could put two full strips on each side of the back end of the phone. final look of my blamed out phone that I use for my birthday photo shoot I will be posting that vlog next so stay tuned for that video but this you guys was just so easy to make the adhesive gemstones or rhinestones whatever you want to call them really did come in handy for this project it was not that much time consuming but if you want to individually glue on the gems rhinestones it's just your preference but I like doing the strips instead but you guys, I'm glad I was able to find this telephone at Goodwill. It was only $10. I mean, it's very rare to find old telephones like this. And I think it really did make my photo shoot come out so well. But thank you all for watching this DIY project. Please leave a comment down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.